What's good with the YouTube? It's your boy DC, and I'm back with another reaction video. You know what I'm saying? And here we go today. We reacting to that Yellow Pain Christians, the scary, the the, the ah, now it just fucked me up. The scary truth about most Christians. So, bro, let's see what he talking about. It look deep off this title. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm finna hear something about a whole lot of hypocrites and stuff. And he's something like the last artist we just listened to, Jonah Lucas, bro. Yellow Pain, he talks some real, real life stuff too. You know what I'm saying? So I'm really excited to see what he talking about on here. And you know what I'm saying? Let's see, bro. Man, is he gonna get me on my feet? I mean, keep me on my feet or get me on my seat? Let's see. He's going to work a miracle in your finances, huh? The Lord is getting ready to make a miracle, huh? Make some noise if you're ready for an increase, huh? An increase in your bank account, huh? An increase in your relationships. Can I get an amen? Christians. I'm not saying I'm not one. I'm saying I'm messing up. Don't make me not happy. That's deep already, bro. Look at her back there. Say hey, mama. Say what up. Increase, an increase in your bank account, huh? An increase in your relationships. Can I get an amen? Christians. I'm not saying I'm not one. I'm saying I'm messing up. Don't make me not ever want to be a Christian. Lord, forgive me. Behind religion, I want to make an announcement. I'm a believer in Jesus. I believe that He died for my sins. I know that He's a redeemer. My problem is people I should have got saved from, but I heard they were saved. But since the beginning, the Christians been using His name for personal gain. So I know that this sound like it's unrelated. How do we build up Americans? A group of European settlers came across the water. They was terrorists. They burned down the innocent villages, women and children. They made up a narrative. They said that God told them they were supposed to do it. Now let's make the comparison. Nowadays, nobody murder you under religion no more. And it's scary. They murder your vision of God. And you Whoa, so they used to say, God told me to kill you? Like I said, bro, I come on here for knowledge. Bro. I did not know that, bro. What? In that days, you ain't finna kill nobody and be like, God told me to do that. They burned down the innocent villages, women and children that made up a narrative. They said that God told them they were supposed to do it. Now let's make the comparison. Nowadays, nobody murder you under religion no more. And it's scary. They murder your vision of God and you start thinking maybe the Lord is a character. Because it seemed like the evilest people I met was the strongest promoters of Jesus. Because he died to forgive us of all of our sins. So they used that to cope with the demons. I know an atheist that molested his daughters, but he kept a perfect image. You really high and under 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 these under disguise, bro. You feel me? Like hypocrites. You know what I'm saying? Like I just said at the, before the video started, hypocrites, bro. And then when he got caught, all of a sudden he turned to Christian. It's never too late, but I just found it funny. It was the one day that he served in prison for thirty years doing the same shit. Then he found God in thirty. Years. I know this one pastor molested his daughter the staff of the church. You gon' say I'm forgiven. I know this girl that got raped and her mama with him. And when he pull, and when he pull their mask off, it's like they running, like, cause it's showing the real them now. It's deep, bro. I know that Jesus forgave us for some things I struggle to learn how to work on forgiveness. I know a mama who cut off her son for religion. What college of hope is she with? This one girl, I changed my way. Convinced herself that I cheated. She said she had confirmation from the spirit. Stop picking the cops with the ring. And they mad, bro. That's like real life, bro. Like, it's mad, it's angry that he telling him. Oh my God, bro. This is deep, bro. Wow. Like, I'm really amazed right now, bro. Wow. She got romantic with one of my closest homies less than 30 days while I was grieving. He didn't know that I knew he called me. I can run at him, man. He gon' blame it on Jesus. He said, God told me this was my wife. She told me he said I weren't her. So when someone's God who 
Say that one more time, bro. The guy told me this was my wife. She told me he said I work her. So when you was guy, which one of y'all lied? I'll be honest, I find it disgusting. And I knew a pastor that took a donation and went bought his wife a new Lexus. You know you were supposed to take that and upgrade the facility. Why you put that? The worst ever Christians, the ones that believe that they hey. still in the and no disrespect to no pastor or Christian out there that's genuinely doing it, you know what I'm saying? But you ain't never going to a church without hearing an offering. Or if they ain't got enough of what they need, you know what I'm saying? It's, oh yeah, if y'all can help, give a, a helping hand, God will bless you ten times more, you know what I'm saying? Pay your tithes and all that, bro. You know what I'm saying? You, it, It's not a church that I ain't know that I went to, but then at the end of the day, we do got to think about like a lot of people do got a career like we got a career it's just not church but that's their job they come here they do that you know what i'm saying they still they pay bills at that place that's just like owning a barbershop or a salon you know what i'm saying they pay light and gas bills at them churches and stuff so i understand why they're trying to get their money you know what i'm saying but like i said they get it by alexis and all that stuff but that's crazy it's not a church that you're going to that don't want to offer Here is exactly how I feel, bro, because I grew up, you feel me, with my grandma having me in church, but then I also grew up on that other side, too, you know what I'm saying, and life, the environment I was in, and the people I was around, and what I adapted to, you know what I'm saying, but I still know God, and I still know respect. I don't want to give up believing because I still remember all of the times that you helped me and saved me when I ain't deserve it because I'm still a sinner. It's just that all of the Christians who see me that I got the witness, they all was pretenders. All of them wicked. And for the life of me, I just don't see why I got to forgive them. He said they honor me. And what's gonna happen right there? But they hurt so far from me. Father, please protect me from Christians. I'm not saying I'm not one. I'm saying I'm messing. The thing you not ever want to be. I follow God. But I will never ever follow Christians. Bro, and that's another thing, bro. Don't let everybody pray for you. You know what I'm saying? You can't let everybody pray for you because everybody not praying good on you. You know what I'm saying? Then when they, so, man, I, I'm telling you, bro, everybody not playing good on you. And it's a lot of people that hide in disguise. And like I said, you know how it's levels to things in life. Like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, high school, college, NBA. You feel me? High school, college, NFL, you feel me? Local artists, mainstream artists, you know what I'm saying? It's levels to everything, and it's like, that's how it is, and I, I'm going to assume that's how it is in the afterlife, because I can't say that, you feel me, because I ain't in the afterlife, but you know what I'm saying? It's levels to demons, bro. Some of them can't. It is levels to demons, but ain't nothing on being God, know that, but just don't let everybody pray for y'all, you know what I'm saying? And to touch on that again, bro, like, and it's like I said, I do see this in real life. Since I do go to church and everything, bro, I do see this in real life and people that I deal with. You know what I'm saying? And I never say I'm a hypocrite. I'm an honest person. You know what I'm saying? I live my truth and I show that I love God still. I still go to church. You know what I'm saying? I don't go in there all flashy and, um, you know what I'm saying? Judging people and telling people what to do. You feel me? 
But I know a lot of people that go in there, they cry, all that. Like I said, they might be into the Lord too and all that too. But you know what I'm saying? Get out and cuss, drink, smoke. Like crazy. You know what I'm saying? Hypocrites. But it's a difference between a hypocrite and an honest person. You know what I'm saying? Be an honest person. That was deep, bro. This going on my playlist. Yellow Pain, bro. You snap, bro. The visuals, the sound, and everything, bro. And it's, I ain't gonna lie, bro. You really touched me in this video. You know what I'm saying? You really did touch me in this video. Because it's like some stuff you said in here, bro. It's really how I'm currently feeling in life right now. You know what I'm saying? No cap, bro. No, I appreciate that, bro. Bless you as an artist, bro. For real, bro. That's going on my playlist, bro. You should get way more recognition than you've you given, bro. But... I know it's pure, it's genuine, bro, because it's speaking some real stuff, you know what I'm saying? Uh, fire, bro. Great video, you know what I'm saying? Um, but it got me in my feels a little bit. I ain't gonna lie. But, man, make sure y'all leave a like on the channel, subscribe to the channel, share the channel, you know what I'm saying? With your mama, your daddy, your sister, your brother, your auntie, your cousin, your nephew, your niece. Hey, DC out. Peace. Oh, my God. The way she walked, the way she talked.